When using a serger, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. First, you always want to leave a thread tail. If you don't leave a thread tail, your serger will most likely become unthreaded. And because sergers are a lot more complex to thread than sewing machines, you don't want to have to deal with that hassle. Always make sure you have a thread tail that's at least four inches long hanging off the side of your serger. Also, keep in mind that there is a knife right here on the serger that cuts off the edge of your fabric. This is good because it gets rid of any frayed edges on your fabric as you serge. However, you want to be careful that your finger is nowhere near that knife. Also, there is a presser foot on this serger that holds your fabric against feed dogs, just like on a sewing machine. But on a serger, you don't need to lift the presser foot to put the fabric underneath. You can just push it through. Because your serger creates this big loopy chain with a thread, it's okay to stitch where your fabric is not starting right underneath the needle. Next, never use pins when you're serging. Sergers move quickly and there's no need to have pins. You don't want the knife to hit the pin, which will probably break and come back flying at your face. So to serge, I'm lining up the edge of my fabric with the edge of the machine here. I'm going to push the foot pedal and guide the fabric through the machine. Notice where my fingers are. They're not close to the presser foot. They're not close to the knife. They're back away, out of harm's way. As I surge, do you notice this little fabric that's hanging off the edge? That's the cut edge that is coming off as the knife cuts the fabric. You want to be careful that you don't accidentally wiggle your whole project over through the knife and end up with a very skinny project and a very fat fabric scrap being cut off. As you finish, make sure you keep pushing the foot pedal to create that long thread tail chain. And then you always want to cut your thread tail. Don't ever drag this around and have the knife cut off the thread tail. If you do that, your serger is going to come unthreaded. So let's cut that with a pair of shears. Before you get up, make sure that you look around your serger for any scraps of fabric that have come off and throw those away. That should be it. Happy serging.